let me tell you a story. It's the story of a teacher who's using the hub and he's working very hard to make all sorts of content. He's making very hard, working very hard to create all sorts of good things, to mark the work, to deal with all of these things. And suddenly he gets this. I send you my work via email because I can't be bothered. What? Dear Mr. Hall, I'm sending you my work here because I am just too lazy to use the hub. I really want you to get it because it's a little bit late already and I don't want you to be angry. I hope this is fine. You look so handsome today and now I really want a good grade. Yours sincerely, Younger Roland. So how do we deal with an email like this? What is the best way? I'll show you how simple it can be. I'm just going to go to that email. I'm going to go to my signatures. So I'm going to reply. So reply. And I'm going to go to my signatures. And I'm going to go down to work not submitted by a hub. And it immediately shows them um, the work. So for example, dear student, and I can insert the name, dear younger Roland. I am very happy that you finished your work. It shows a lot of dedication and effort. I know this time, this was time consuming for you and your time is precious. It is important that you know how to balance your time and effort, especially in this period of coronavirus. My time is also precious, and while I appreciate that you tried to get your work into the correct place, if I had just one class emailing me all their work, it would make my job much harder. In order to actually place your work into the hub, I would have to go into your class, look up the assignment, import your work, and then press submit. If I had to do this for, to every student in your class, I would have to do it to all the students in the, all classes, and this would significantly increase my workload at the moment. For this reason, can you submit your work to the hub in the correct place just as you have been taught? I cannot accept your work as submitted until you have completed this. Thank you for your kind attention, Roland. So what I did was I set up a signature that had that, and it's very easy to set up a signature. All we have to do is go to signatures, go to this part of the signatures, press new, give it a name, and press OK. At that point, we can type in our message and whatever it is that we need to type. We can type all the things and all the lovely ways of saying things. Make sure it's a really nice way of saying it and then you press OK. At that moment, you can then go back to your signatures and click on example and it will show that particular message. So if I go back down to here, work not submitted to the hub, there it is. So that is how we can really automate our work. We can really speed up our work. That saves us 10 minutes of writing, five minutes of writing every time. So you can just go to an email, press signature, done, send, it's done. So I hope this was a helpful hint. It is useful. I use it for a number of things. Um, so have a go at it.